I have had an awesome idea. You know how I always say I'm going to finish this critter and I never do? Well today I'm going to. Wait, that's not the idea. The idea is to take the sniffers and have them roaming around at the bottom of here along with the new ancient flowers to make this area look even more alien and ancient. I got two extra sniffer eggs so I'm going to place these on the moss in the crater and while we wait, let's spawn some music and jump into a time lapse and we're going to get these crater walls finished. This is going to be a big one. And there it is, it is all done, I can't believe it. This is taking me so long. I recorded that intro about seven months ago and I've been doing so many other different things, putting this off since then and I've finally got round to doing all of it. Look, I've even got new armor, that, that's how long it's been. But yes, very happy this is done. And I've just added up the length of the time for those time lapses and it was another 21 hours on top of the crazy amount of time I've spent already. And yeah, 21 hours, shouldn't take seven months to do, but you know, it's such a mammoth task, I just kept putting it off. But the main thing is, it's done and i did try to calculate how many blocks this is but it's just such a ridiculous number and i tried using light matica that wasn't working properly but basically this is all the stone i've got left i went through this many shulker boxes of stone and i think i had another five that i stole out of here because i was running low so yeah i think if i'm right it's about a hundred thousand blocks of stone i placed which is absolute madness but yeah that is all done and you may be thinking this is quite plain looking and you will be right i completely agree this is just the base layer and it's taken me so long and it's it pains me to say this is just the base layer but this is this is not the end result what we need to do is have everything else that we've got down here growing up the side so there's gonna be a lot of grass and moss and all like the tentacles we've got with the purple and the black colors all that is gonna be going up here so yeah a lot more work to do and of course it's raining all right that's better right so very pleased with getting this done but i have caused myself a bit of a problem because the main way i have of getting below the crater where all the farms are is by flying down and i did just fly between all the gaps that I had around here and now those aren't there anymore yeah it, it's a bit of a trek to get down so i either have to go over the top or through these openings that we've got at the side so i've got a geode cave down there and that is going to be a bit more fancy once i get that done and then we also have 
a gap up there and that is going to be a bridge over here because i do want to be able to get over here as well without going through the nether or flying i do like to have everywhere in the overworld accessible by walking if possible so we're going to have a big bridge going across there and that will come in handy for a nether portal later but i'll explain that in a minute and then over at this side we also have the sewer which i'm starting to work on a little bit as well because this end of it as you can see is a slime chunk so i've started digging this out and i have a bit of a plan for having the water flowing down there but that's that's later on so the other thing I said I was doing at the start was placing sniffers down. And as you can see, yeah, they're, they're being very unhelpful. Got this one here, and they just kept going up the sides. It's so annoying. The plan was that they'd roam around and dig up all the flowers and i get a good collection of them. But yeah, it didn't work because they just kept climbing up there and I had to drag them down with leads and lure them down with the flowers and it just wasn't working. So I've only got five up here now i think the spread about a bit so i think the plan now is to have a few fences and just to stop them getting past but not make it look like it's enclosed so i'll have to work on that but to solve the problem of the sniffers i built a little farm underneath right so we're at the geode cave now and this is the main way i've been coming down but i just thought i'd explain something to prepare you for something i've done down below these quad witch huts have obviously been running all the time i've been over here and building these walls so i ended up with quite a lot of stuff and the big thing that I haven't really been able to compact out much is glowstone. So yeah, I uh, I decided to take all the glowstone that I had and I did something a little bit mad. I had about five double chests of glowstone plus countless shulker boxes of the glowstone dust as well, which I crafted up as well. And yeah, I, I basically covered this whole area in glowstone. I did run out. And I have used an excessive amount, it's ridiculous. And I don't know why, because I probably won't see this eventually. Once we get some tunnels and stuff down here, which is what I want to do, probably won't see this. But if we have any areas that are down at the bottom, can put carpet over this. So we won't see the horrible glowstone texture, but it will still be nice and bright. Right, so let's have a quick look at the few things we've got down here. It has been a while since I've shown all this, so we'll have a quick recap of the things I think I've already shown. I might be wrong. But we do have a cactus farm, and the main reason for that is I want to use some cyan terracotta down here, and I don't have a cactus farm anywhere, so I've just got this little thing going, and it's doing the job. Got a nether wart farm, obviously because that fits in with the witch huts, so I can have some potion brewing stuff up there, so having the nether wart down here is very handy, and I've got quite a bit of this already. It is a fairly manual thing, I just flick this lever and it washes it all away, but then I have to replant it also. I don't do it too often. And the other thing I've definitely already shown is the moss farm. I did this when I was building all the moss at the bottom of the crater, so yeah, we've definitely seen this, and I do have tons of it. It's not running at the moment, because I've got about four or five double chests of that already, so that'll do the thing. We have three new additions, so let's do it in the order I built it. Firstly, I built a mushroom farm, and I always had the idea of building it at this side where it's a lot taller, so we've got this gap going right up to the sky, and I was going to build it a lot taller, but I was just testing it, and it does work fine. When I've been building the walls, it's been doing its thing, but one thing I didn't realise, and I've learned from doing this, is this is outside the range of where it'll grow. This is the despawn sphere, so when I'm stood at my AFK point, no mobs will be able to spawn outside of this sphere, but what I've also learned is that no crops will grow outside of it either. So this mushroom farm won't work when I'm at my AFK point. Now I've left it there because when I'm around doing other things, I, it'll still work. But to fix that, I've also built two tiny little ones inside. And from this, when I'm AFK at my witch huts, I actually get a decent amount. So I'm gonna leave this here. And the plan is to have this connect up to the item elevator as well and take everything up there so i've already got that in just not doing it yet because i don't have anywhere to store things the next thing i built as i've already mentioned is the sniffer farm because that was pretty much useless up there i've got eight of them in here and they've been doing the thing and we're basically just got a minecart below collecting all the drops i've been feeding them as well collecting some eggs and we can put them up there once we've got a few more and then the last thing that i've just done fairly recently is a sugar cane farm and i'm sure you've seen this in before, this is designed by Tango, and I've built this a few times. I've already got a smaller version of this in my city, but I thought I'd have it over here, and then we can use this for crafting rockets. And yep, yeah, it's I've already emptied this out a couple of times. It's absolutely ridiculous. I was going to go bigger, but you know what? I think this will do. And the other thing I've done just as an experiment is starting messing around with some elevators below the witch huts themselves. So I've done a little bit of a design in here. I was, this is more of a nod to the fact that this is a witch hut, so I'm using the same materials, but I probably won't do this. I'm... As I said, I'm probably going to go with Cyan Terracotta with tunnels going out here into the central bit and to all the farms. But if we just head up here, let's see what I've done. So it's just standard bubble elevator and a water drop on the other side. And this just goes up as like a maintenance access, I suppose. This goes into where all the redstone is for the bottom of the witch does. So they all die on these hoppers. 
everything gets sent into this dropper and then this just spits everything out so this isn't much use as i said i want to try and be able to get around without an elytra so yeah th this isn't much use from here but what i was also thinking was having bridges because this is so close to the crater itself i could have bridges from each of the witch holes that go into a tunnel that's behind the crater and then we could have a circle going all the way around and then that could connect to the bridge that i said about from up there and that could go across into here but i don't think that's just yet so if we just come back down we'll have a look at some of the plans i've got right so back in the center one of the main things i want to do is move this item elevator away from the meteor because i don't want it to go up through it this is supposed to be like some powerful meteor having things built up to the middle of it really spoils the effect of that so what i've done here is marked out a point where this can go and I've done it here because, if we have a look at this, this is right on the edge of a double slime chunk. So, I've had it going up here so I don't have to do too much spawn proofing. So, I'm going to move this one over to here. And then I'm also going to have an elevator and drop for me as well, right here. So, if we just go up top, we can have a look where this goes. And for now, I'm going to have to fly because I don't have that set up yet. Right, so I've marked out where this item elevator is going to be. And it's right where this cobblestone slab is. So, yeah, it's not great having another portal right here and i'm going to move that because i think this makes sense but what i want to do as i've said a few times already i want a bridge going across here and i'm going to put my nether portal across there and i've done that because i've tested out putting a portal here and that's in line with all the other ones that i've got going down there and i thought this would look a lot nicer rather than just having it shoved in the corner but to do it like that even though it's only a few blocks away in the nether that'll take it quite a few blocks in the overworld so that's why i'm going to have that bridge there and put another portal in the middle of it and back down here just going to mention one of the other things i want to do is actually build the underside of this meteor and then what we could have down here is like a site that where it's been excavated and there's like all experiments going in on the side of it just a little idea i've had and i think that could work but obviously we need to get the practical side done first and move all this stuff away so i think what that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to work on getting this moved over to here maybe connect up to one of the other farms as well but probably not and then I'm also going to get the player elevators in around here as well. And then we can look at doing some stuff above the surface and making that look a little bit nicer. And while I'm getting on with that, you can have a look at what else I've been doing between episodes. So firstly, I did a bit of end busting. And if you saw the last episode, you'll know I did a little bit there. But embarrassingly, I only got 22 shulker shells, which is quite pitiful. But I didn't realise that whilst editing. So this time, I spent a bit more time in the end cities. And from that session... I got another shulker box full of really decent gear, but you know, this isn't the stuff we're going for. And I actually got over a stack this time, so definitely happy with that. I think that should be a rule now. Anytime I go in busting, I'm not coming back until I've got at least a stack of shells. And yeah, another five elytra, few diamonds, gold and iron. But the interesting thing here was, I also got five of the Spire Armor Trim smithing templates. And getting that many of these inspired me to go looking to see if I could get some of the other ones that I don't have yet. So this is the box of the ones that I've got so far. And I also got the Coast Armor Trim. And I got these from a shipwreck near my ocean monument. But I wasn't recording while I did that, but I got those anyway. So that means I only need six to complete the set of 16. And three of those can be found in the Trail Ruins. So I found one of the Trail Ruins and spent some time digging one of these out. And brushing the suspicious gravel as I went. I got the Shaper Armor Trim. So that's one off the list. I didn't expect to get any more from this drill ruin, but this thing is absolutely huge and it just kept going. So after a short amount of time, I got the Wayfinder trim as well, and then another Shaper trim, then another Wayfinder trim. So it's great that I've got two of those, but I really wanted the host one. And not too long later, I also got the host trim all from the same trail ruin so from that trail ruin got an absolute ton of stuff dug out all the gravel that was there as well quite a few good building blocks as well it's a really easy way of getting mud i know they're not that common the trail ruins but when you do find them you get a ton of stuff out of it loads of bricks loads of terracotta as well this is like the junk stuff that you get as well a few candles glass panes and there's a few ores down there as well that i dug out but then the good stuff we've got quite a few pottery shards i think this is a new music disc i'll be honest I don't know that much about music discs. I know people go mad about collecting them, but I really don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to these. So I've got that one anyway, but we've also got these new armor trims. So I'm going to take all these and the ones I got from there, and I can put them in my collection up here. So we're doing very well now. So what's that? That's 13, isn't it? So that means I've got three more to get. So you never know, if we have some time later, we can have a look at that. But for now, I have done one more thing, so let's go have a look at that. I've been putting a bit of work into my iron farm because I do have the killing area and the storage area decorated but the iron farm itself has always been a bit rough. So I decided to go with iron blocks as I've got a bit of a plan. I'm not 100% sure yet so I won't say what it is. So I decided to tackle the most difficult bit first and 
I've filled in all of the ceiling with iron blocks and this was a bit tricky, you had to use a lot of scaffolding and bridging across with it and it's a bit of a risk because golems could spawn up here potentially and drop down and kill a zombie which would be a bit of a disaster but eventually I did manage to get it all done and then after doing that I got a bit carried away and did some more digging in this room and I didn't record it because I had no intention of doing as much as I did but yeah this is what I ended up doing this was all enclosed before as you've just seen in that time lapse and it's it's ridiculous look, look at it I need to fix the lighting up here but uh, yeah i've got sea lanterns all the way around to make it nice and bright this will all get covered with carpet eventually and yeah this one is solid because this is a slime chunk so i had tons of slime in here as well that wasn't good i also did the staircase up to the cave at the other side but the main thing i did that was really helpful and it's been it's always annoyed me that i don't have a way up here apart from going through the cave so what i've done is built a staircase that goes down into the storage and the killing area down here now this design isn't final it's basically just replicating what we've got in here and yeah i, I will upgrade this eventually i don't know if it'll be like a piston door here and this can be like a more high-tech look rather than copying what's in there but for now i've just done something simple bit of iron ore in the wall as well just a bit of a nod to what we've got up here and then this is obviously going to be a much more techie look. And I still haven't managed to get all these cats. I did have a chulker box of fish somewhere, but they keep getting away from me. Anyway, that's what I've been up to between episodes. I think that's more than enough, isn't it? So I think now we should get back to the witch hole perimeter and see what we've been doing over there. Okay, so progress has been made. I've got the item elevator moved and I've just done it straight across here and back to where it was originally around there. And then over here as well, we have our player elevator so this is one where i come up got a bubble elevator over here and then we've got a drop down here that goes straight to the crater floor i've just done this here just in case i want to do something around here if i ever want to get to this level but mainly we're going to be dropping right down to the bottom and under here nice and simple this i've just extended this down that way and everything goes up there now rather than through the crater and i've boxed all that in as well so you can't see the gap where it was and i did say i might connect up some of the farms as well and as you can see here i've connected the sugarcane farm so all that is going up there now so if you just go back up this way this is the bubble holders that takes us up to the crater floor and then we can go into this one and ride it all the way to the top and then getting to the top i've done a few things up here as well so where the elevator was was right here and i've removed all the frame around this because this is all going to go eventually so i've got everything going up here and around as it was and then i've also added this extra bit at the end because what i did have was an overflow around here and it just everything that came up that wasn't sorted just went into there and i just ended up throwing it on the floor and leaving it to despawn but i've done it a little bit better now so we'll have the sugar cane coming around into this bit here and then we have three more item filters for the glass bottles, the sugar and the spider eyes. And they all go into this dropper and just get shot into the lava. And then anything else that doesn't go into any of that goes into here. So I've been doing a little bit of digging down there and just throwing everything into the wall stream. And then that all comes up into this so I don't have to worry about my inventory. You may also notice as well, I've had a bit of a tidy up around here. This look looking much more bare than it was because I had chests and shulker boxes everywhere. Still got a few. Some These are some of the materials I'm going to need for once we get down into doing a bit more decorating then i have all the pressure stuff here this is all the diamonds that i've got from doing this perimeter yeah great eye because glass a few ores and yeah ton of coal ore as well i do also have this that i need to move as well when i was doing the upgrade to the village with all the flower fields around it i put this here for some reason this is where i got all my flowers from so yeah i definitely need to move this but that can stay for now and for the last half hour or so i've also been fixing this because i don't know why but all of these filters broke and everything had just disappeared out of this chest. So all the filter items were gone and everything else was gone. And that meant that everything was backing up. And uh, yeah, all the shulker boxes, because this is the shulker box loader filter, and everything in these shulker boxes were just completely wrong. We had sugar cane and all the stuff that I'm trying to throw away as well. That was going into here. So I had to spend a bit of time going through all these shulker boxes in here and picking out the ones that didn't have the right things in and sorting them all out again. So yeah, that took quite a while. And then I AFK'd for a little bit just to get everything full back up again and make sure everything was working because the shulker box loader had also broke as well. So I AFK'd a bit just to get a few of those filled up. But anyway, that's all done now. I've also emptied out the redstone dust because doing a bit of afk i've been crafting up some redstone blocks as you can see we have a fair few but that is the reason why this room is going to change because 1.21 is coming out fairly soon not sure when but it shouldn't be too long now and that is bringing with it the auto crafter so at the moment everything in here is very manual i do have a shulker box loader but at the moment i'm just taking stuff out of here and crafting it up so you've got a bit more glowstone there so i can do some more on the floor but yeah once we get the auto crafter 
I'm going to be able to do stuff like this. So crafting up the torches and those into repeaters and comparators as well. Because I have a ton of quartz in here. I obviously have a ton of stone. So I can get all that set up and have all this stuff auto crafting. Which is going to be great. But that's not for today. That is something that's going to be hopefully not too far in the future. But for now I want to get on with doing a little bit of decorating down here. And yeah, not doing that at night. So let's have a sleep and see what we can do. Probably should mention as well, I've also moved the nether portal. That was the first thing I did so I could get this thing in. And yeah, it doesn't look great at the minute, but this is the spot it's going to be. And this lines up perfectly with the one that's in the nether. But I think this could look really cool once we get a bridge over here. This may even be inside a room if we make the bridge thick enough. And then we'll also extend this going to that bit over there and have a fancy path and entrance over there. Right, so as far as decorating this goes, there's two things I want to do. One is have all the moss and the coaster growing up the sides of here and maybe just have patches of it like hilltops up the sides of these crater walls but before we do that i want to extend what we've got down here with all these tentacles and all the purple stuff i want all that growing up a little bit more so i did do these towers originally before i came up with the whole crazy stuff with all the skulk at the bottom so there's no skulk up here and i think that's something i definitely want to do so i've got a box of tricks here that should have everything in it that i need so I'm just going to grab some of the skull veins and the skull blocks. And what I want to do is actually have it eat. Actually, I've got some, I think I've got some cracked bricks as well. Yeah, so let's grab those. Because what I want to do is have it look like these tentacles are causing damage to this and eroding away a little bit. So the nice, simple way of doing that, we just have a few of the cracked bricks going up. Now, it doesn't make that much of a difference especially from a distance, but I think that is a nice subtle effect. And then if we do the same with the skull blocks, so around the edge, like we've done at the bottom, they just go around the edge of the purple bit. So we just have that firstly on the outside, but also I think replacing some of the blackstone as well, I think that could look pretty cool. So just I'll like that. going into the walls a little bit and we can have them spreading out. Can also maybe put some of the tentacles going into it as well so put some of the crying obsidian in and then i've also got the skulk veins as well and that's what i did down here to transition between the blocks so if we just have these over the skulk and then over whatever block they're next to it provides a nice easy transition into it so if we just step back a little bit that is looking pretty cool let's go a free cam so we can see properly and from a distance yeah that is definitely looking a lot better so if i have that going all the way up and apart from this looking pretty cool it should also fix the problem i have back here where it is quite dark now this is outside of the spawning range when i'm in the afk point but when i'm not this is very dark and things do spawn up here and one of the things about crying obsidian which i always forget it is actually a light source it is very subtle but it is enough to light these things up so no mobs can spawn so i started building around the base of the tower but then quickly changed my mind because i think i do actually want to fancy up these towers a bit before i start putting all the tentacles on i started branching out across the walls of the crater firstly with the purple blocks the crying obsidian and the concrete and then surrounding that firstly with the skulk and then onto the black blocks and all i really had was black concrete and black concrete powder but my favorite block for this is coal and unfortunately Actually, I'd run out. So that was the next thing I needed to sort. So as we've already seen, I had almost a full shulker box of coal or blocks. So I spent a very, very long time placing all of that down. And then I grabbed my fortune pick and started hacking away at it. Spent an even longer time breaking it all down. So much so that it filled up my inventory. So I crafted all that into blocks and then I dug the rest of it up. And once I got all that done, I ended up with five and a half stacks of coal blocks. So that should do me for now, but I think I'm definitely gonna need some more. Right, so I only spent half an hour doing that and I'm quite happy with the progress definitely is going to look cool once we get it all done and i just want to show you how this looks at night because i don't have any other light sources up here other than the crying obsidian and as you can see it is lighting up quite well so it looks pretty cool like a glow coming off it and yes there are mobs spawning over there but that's only because i'm not in my afk point once i am this doesn't happen so yeah let's have a sleep and i do have another little thing i want to do Right, so the thing I don't quite like at the minute is it looks like it's kind of sat on top of it. I want it to look like it's eroding at this and like kind of digging into it a little bit. So with that in mind, I've grabbed some cobblestone slabs and some blackstone and the slabs as well. And I've also got a bit of mossy cobble, but this is more for later. I'm just going to try it a little bit. So we'll just craft a few more blackstone slabs. And let's not forget the coal blocks that we've just crafted. And let's see if we can make this look a little bit better. Right, so yeah, as you can see, it is like it sat on it a little bit so i do have a few coal blocks over here i did have a few so what i want to do if we put the blackstone in like this and then have a cobblestone next to it should have brought some full blocks as well gives that transition where it's a similar texture but obviously a very different color if we just have a few of these dotted around and then we'll put the blackstone there 
If we do this all the way along, I'm hoping it's going to make it look like these tentacles have kind of eating into these walls and breaking it apart a little bit. That's why we're having the cobble. So we're not changing the shape of it, we're just changing the texture and I think it should look a lot better. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time doing this and then hopefully we can get on with doing some of like the moss and the grass and dirt growing up because th this is really taxing my brain doing this. Okay, so I spent about half an hour doing that, not too much time, but I'm very happy with how this has turned out. It is very subtle, I did say it'd be a very subtle effect, but if we zoom in, I've got a fancy new zoom key now, you can see I've done a lot with the blackstone and the cobble, and I've also added in a bit of moss and the mossy cobble as well, just to further blend that in, and I think it does look way better now. It is a really subtle effect, but as I said before, it was like this stuff was sat on top and not really part of the landscape, but now it looks like it's eating into a bit, and I am going to exaggerate this a lot more. I'm, ha I'm planning on having like a few tentacles like breaking right into the mountain, maybe some even growing back out as well, but this stuff is really tricky to get my head around, so instead of doing that, I think I'm going to do what I've done on this side, which is have this grow up a bit. Actually, it's not really that much there, is it? Where did I do it? I feel like I did this more in certain places, but doesn't look like it. Right. I am going to stick to this side, though, and have some more of the moss and the coarse dirt growing up at the bottom. And I don't really need to explain that. It's nice and simple. Should be fairly easy to do. So as this video is getting a little bit long, I should just get on with it, shouldn't I? Right, so we're starting out with just placing the coarse dirt and the moss blocks. And the idea behind this is that the dirt has fallen from the top of the crater, got stuck to the sides, and expanded out from there. So over a long, long period of time, all the moss is attached and growing along the side. So that's why it's very patchy. There's going to be lots of gaps in it, lots of stone showing through. But leaving the gaps also leaves areas where I can build further tentacles. And if the idea is that this is falling down from the top, I obviously need to place a load of blocks at the top as well, don't I? So I'm placing as much as I can up here with an overhang over the edge of the crater, so it looks like it definitely has the potential to fall down. And I did keep stepping back and having to go back and place more blocks, because the scale of this thing is absolutely huge, so I needed to put on way more than I normally would have done. So the first bit was just to get the patches of the colour in, but the thing that makes this so much better is placing the leaves. So... I've been through with my usual combination in this area of azalea and the birch leaves. And the reason we're doing that is because even though you wouldn't think so to look at this area, it is actually a swamp. So we're using the birch and the azalea leaves because those are the same colour no matter what biome you place them in. And I did get through an absolute ton of leaves doing this. I did have to restock on the azalea a couple of times. And then got all that placed at the top as well. And I think I went through about four or five shulker boxes doing this. Absolutely crazy amount. So there it is, that is how it's looking now, and this was another four hours work, absolute madness as always, but I'm liking how it's looking, definitely worth all that effort, but yeah, makes the rest of it look really plain now, so I need to get that done, don't I? but that will not be happening today. So I do need to do a little bit of restocking, I've got a few birch leaves and a few azalea leaves left, but th this is nowhere near. As I said, I used about five shulker boxes overall for this side, so yeah, I'm definitely going to need to go get a load more. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it there. I've spent a way too long on this video and I'm going to try and do more regular videos and do slightly smaller projects. I'm, I'm probably going to have a break from this area, to be honest, because I've, I've spent way too long doing it. So next time, we'll probably get on with starting a new project. And it's something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you subscribed. And if you aren't already, make sure you click that like button. And I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.